Hi, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to check the description to this video. I have links to some of my popular videos, a link to my Amazon account for a lot of things that you all ask about. Don't forget I have a bunch of playlists on the homepage of this channel. Thank you. Hey, good morning. <clears throat> this morning I'm gonna have three eggs with some salsa in it. One, two, three. And I have some of my salt I put in this little salt shaker. Oh man, come on now. There we go. Some of my salt and some pepper. That got the dogs coming. They're like, what was that knocking sound, lady? All right, so just some salt and pepper. I'm gonna put on some of my water. Thank you, Katie. I'm gonna put my lid on it. I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes. Timer's going off, let's take a look. Yeah, that looks good. The water has evaporated. I'm gonna just kinda separate all three of them. I didn't turn down the temperature because I thought it was not going to be hot enough. And uh, in doing so, they got a little more than over medium. I don't know what that would be. They're not necessarily hard. But anyway, hang on. Let me get this out. This is what a good cast iron would do. Check it out. Now I still want to, I'll still clean it, but look at that. It just doesn't scrape, it doesn't stick on or nothing. All right, let's see what we got. Wait, wait. I do want to add some salsa, but I'll show y'all how the, how the center, yeah, that's, that's a hard egg. Let me see if I can turn it so you can see it. Look, that's definitely, that's hard. There's like a teeny tiny bit of, 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 soft in there but nope so anyway i'm gonna put in some salsa on it just a tablespoon i don't really want a whole bunch this morning um i'm gonna watch church from online this morning so it starts at 8 30 and it is 8 10 so i'm gonna eat this and and get ready to watch church this morning and um, I'm just having eggs this morning. I'm hungry, but not starving. So that's what it's going to be. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, look at both of them faces. They're like, hey, you know we're over here. But don't worry, y'all. When I'm done eating, I made those fat bombs. Look at me, I'm paranoid. Um, I made those fat bombs last weekend. So... When I get done eating, I always come in and that's when I use the fat bombs. Whenever I'm at home during the week and I eat like one, my supper, I come and give them a fat bomb. On weekends, whenever I eat breakfast, lunch, and supper, they get a fat bomb. Mmm. Or something else. I always get a treat after I eat. Because I know how good my food smells. And I know they're like, you know, we're down here getting just pieces of kibble. I'd be like, you know how we eat. Those of us who eat clean and eat a lot of whole foods, that'd be us like us living off living off cereal. But you know, that's the way it is. I just can't afford to to raw feed four dogs. Mmm. -hmm. I made cold brew coffee, not cold brew. I made coffee and then I put it into these after it was done. And um, yesterday I did it 
and I put the, you know, I just been storing the cold coffee in the refrigerator. And when I added the electrolytes yesterday, they didn't mix in well. So what I did last night was, you know, like I said, I saved up, I made a partial pot all week and then, um, and then whatever was left at the end of the morning before I went to work, I poured into that container. So it's cooled down. But um, so what I did last night before I went to bed, I was like, well, I wonder if I add the electrolytes before I go to bed, how it will work. And it turned out really good. I honestly feel like I'm drinking a milkshake, like literally. It's a little bit thicker texture. Or maybe they boy. It's coughing. Um, anyway, it's a little bit thicker texture, kind of like uh, milk. So, yeah. I got some coffee brewing now. So I'm going to put it out in some of those containers. And put the electrolytes in it ahead of time. And see how that goes. I told y'all that I was going to go in there and eat. And look at me. I'm in here eating now. Mm-hmm. We're just having our breakfast together. Because you know, I can't wait. That's a little spoon. But you see, I still take shovel and bite. Look, y'all. You know I ain't a lady. You know I'm not a delicate proper lady. I just am who I am. But yeah, so, <clears throat> all going. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I am, uh, I got the coffee brewing and then I'm going to put the electrolytes in it and just let it sit so over in the morning. I can have some more cold coffee to take to work. All I had to do is pull it out and shake it. If I was so inclined, which I'm not, I could add some ice to it and zhuzh it up. And uh, it could be like a, I don't know, like a frozen coffee from the fancy places. Um, but I don't have an ice maker. And I have those little, now I could pour it over ice. Um, but I have those little disposable ice things. So I can do that, but... All right, well, that's about it. We done had breakfast together, and I'm going to finish off my coffee. I really need to blow my nose. Hell here. I'll let you see. I give them a fat bomb. So I'll show you. But I'm going to pause and blow my nose first. So then I'll show you. I'll give them their fat bomb. So you can see that I do treat quality assurance with the utmost respect and give them the payment they deserve. It's even a big old piece today. Lou, Sam, Callie, Baxter, come here, come here. Let them see how aggressive you are with your teeth. Uh-uh, Sam, no, nobody, get back. This is for Baxter. There you go. I have to like open palm it like a horse with an apple. Or else you lose your fingers, y'all. There you go. Quality assurance has been paid. Okay, bye. Nice day out here. It's a gentle breeze. <clears throat> Except having black pants, that's a dumb move sitting in the sun. But Lou is in his usual melted posture. Baxter's on alert as always. Sam's kind of chill. He just kind of waits for Baxter to notify him of a problem. And Callie, well, she's digging. She's on a mission to get to China. <clears throat> or whatever else is on the other side of this town on the other side of earth she says she's gonna find the core of the, the core of the of the earth before she dies she's my digger we've got potholes all over this yard which is why she wears the escape collar because <clears throat> used to with the old fence there were some holes back there and uh, she would escape and um, she would escape and go visit the school and um, so she would dig and make those holes bigger so she could really escape 
So, um, yeah, there's just potholes out here in this yard. And if somebody were to take a walk and not look, they would probably break their ankle. But um, anyway, I should probably have them remove this bush and that bush over on the other side just to, you know, just to make things easier. But, you know, I'll just let her go on and dig it out. It's cheap. Hey, I told you all I have uh, just a one lone turkey burger. And um, I microwaved it. I might have to microwave it again when it's all done. Um, let's take a look. There's some juice in there, but I think it'll be fine. I'm just going to let it sit aside. Um, we are going to go ahead and make a bun for it. Since it's just one lone burger. I am not going to use cheese. Um, I don't want the extra calories. But cheese on your chaffles is what makes it crispy on both sides. That's why you put cheese, egg, cheese, because that's what makes it crispy. But I want to do, I do want a kind of a bun thing just for today for something fun since I'm home. So I sprayed it and that is some um, liquid eggs. So I'm going to do it just to cover the, um, just enough to cover the little waffles. And not quite enough to cover the waffles. All right. Because I don't want it to spill out. And I think it'd be a little more. I think it can be just a wee. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not doing it. So now I'm going <clears> to <throat> cover it. I forgot to spray the top. We'll see if it sticks. <clears throat> so that's going to be for the burger. In the meantime, I want a salad to go with it. So I've got some cabbage. Now remember, if you're counting calories, set your, set your container on the scale, zero it out between everything, and you'll put your, you'll put your, your you'll write it down. These vegetables have been in here, these cucumbers have been in here a long time, y'all. They're hanging in there. They're getting softer, but that's all right. It's because I don't, I don't know what they use in rig, oh, in store-bought pickles that makes them stay crispier longer. But um, whatever it is, I don't use it. Tip. So I'm going to cut up some cucumbers in here. And if you want to see how I do this, I think I've got a link down in the description. Don't forget to check out my description because a lot of times you guys will say, hey, how do you make this or how do you make that? And, and so I went ahead and put some of those links down in the description box. So that way you know where to find them. Now I need to wash my hands, hang on. I had forgotten to set a four minute timer so I just hollered and had my Alexa set one for three minutes. I'm gonna put a few tomatoes in there. And you know I got to have some rutabaga in here. Love me some raw rutabaga. It's just a good crunch, good texture, good flavor. There we go. It definitely holds up well. Um, oh, a little bit of zucchini. Let's, ow! I'm getting steam burned over here because I'm not paying attention. Feels a little bit slimy. Maybe it's that one. I know I'm putting it back in there. That's kind of not too smart. I'll put it right there so I don't I don't have to pull it out and it's slimy next time. Alright, so there we go. Now you I'm gonna be eating well my meal prep tonight for work tomorrow is gonna be making another one of these salads. So I just hopefully I'll use up the rest of the zucchini then. Uh, peppers Let's go on and finish these peppers off. They've done me well. They've been frozen, and I've used them in a lot of salads. They've served their purpose well. Um, I'm gonna put some of this guacamole and more seasoning in here. I know one of you had asked me to talk about the seasonings. This that I use in my salads. So that's called guacamole and more. And I think that's down in my, um, you know, I put a, a if you go to my description, I put a bunch of things that you all asked me about. I put the, a link to them for an Amazon daily. 
So there's some white onions. I'm going to do some red onions. Love me some onions. I'm kind of sad I didn't buy an onion this weekend to meal prep. And I forgot to pick one up. So when I run out of these, I'll be done with the onions till I get another one. Let me wash my hands. The timer went off to say this is done. They're definitely not brown at all. I know a lot of y'all say you don't have to flip them, and that's fine, but I kind of like to so I can kind of see how they're looking on the other side. So, I like trying to line them up back in those little, back in those little holes again. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. But, all right, now I'm gonna let that go. Ziggy, timer, two minutes. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she... Hey, Ziggy, cancel timer. Ziggy, two-minute timer. Second timer. Two minutes. Starting now. I don't know. I don't know if she heard me or not. Um, so, seasonings. I like putting different seasonings on my salad before I use dressing. This one is a total seasoning. Just one of those that in the Walmart aisle that I was showing you in my Walmart video, I just go for a lot of seasonings that are just like have everything in it. So that's total seasoning. This one is Greek seasoning. I like putting Greek seasoning on there. Um, I watched a video on YouTube and there was this lady who, who said that, you know, that at restaurants they actually put seasonings on your salad. I don't know how accurate that is. This is some adobo seasoning. And I'm going to put a little bit of smoked paprika on there. Just a little bit. They probably, restaurants probably don't use as much seasoning as I do, but you know. You know, you know me. You know me. It's how I roll. Now what I'm going to do is, this is the lid that went to the peppers. I'm going to shake it up. Get that seasoning all down in there. There we go. Now I need to grab some salad dressing. Hold on. There are some sauces and dressings. There's just some. Oh, Ziggy, cancel timer. There are some things I just don't trust myself to get a good amount of. Ah, Ziggy, cancel timer. I just don't trust myself. So these things like this and marinara sauce, you will notice that I will weigh them because I know me, I will get carried away because they're so thin that it's easy to get carried away. Now, do I still get 10, 15 more grams of them? Sure. But at least I know I'm not getting like 50 grams of whatever it is because, you know, or 50 extra grams out. Sometimes I do get 50 grams. Here we go. So that is going to be my salad. So let's set this little bad boy back here. Oop. Bella. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and take these out. Let's see if they're crisp enough. Yeah, I think they'll be crisp enough to use as bread. So now I'm just gonna let this cool. I don't know, this is how I clean mine. I get paper towel and put some water on it. I don't know if it's good or bad, but then I lay it across it and I close it and let it kind of just steam for a couple seconds or minutes or whatever. So now let me get my burger. This burger was in juice, so I want to set it on a on a paper towel a second and absorb some of that liquid. This was a turkey burger that I made um, af after my Walmart trip the other day. I think I have seasoning on it too. Let me take a taste. 
Yeah, I think I did. But I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna put some ketchup on it. If I'm gonna eat it like a burger, like a sandwich, then I'm gonna use ketchup. Cause ketchup is life. Uh oh. Get all that ketchup all around there. Oh, let me see if I got a little mustard. Hang on. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Some bread and butter pickle chips. Come on, y'all. Oh, I don't need a new fork, Gary. Come on, come on. Now this is gonna be good, good, good. I said, come on, and here they all come running. They're saying, yeah, yeah, we're here. What do you want? What do you want, Mom? Y'all aren't the ones I was talking to there, pal. You weren't the one I was calling there, buddy, old chum, old puppers. All right, that's how it's going to roll. Like that. Except I'm going to get a couple more and put them right here on my salad. And one's going right into my belly. Yeah, buddy. All right, now. It's funny, I don't ever eat mustard on my sam on my burgers, but I'm going to. Dog, what are you doing? You can't fit there. All right, just a little. And I'm going to go zoop, 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 just kind of smear it around. Because I don't want a lot. I'm not a huge mustard fan. In fact, I don't even like mustard. But, you know what I'm doing. All right, let me put this up and then we'll taste the burger. Whenever it's done steaming, I just go on and pull it out. And I hope that that's enough to kind of clean it a little bit. And that's what I do. All right, now, let's see what we think of our burger. Okay. Alright, it's going to be messy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Pick up this little, I do not, I do not like messy wet things. I like to hold them, so I'm going to hold it over my plate. Mm-hmm. That works. Probably what I'm honestly going to do is stand here and eat the whole burger right here over this counter. And then I'll take my salad and go to the other room. I don't like that. It messes with me. But anyway, it's good, by the way. So, it's holding up decent for bread. It's kind of soft like bread, you know? Doesn't seem to taste eggy. So, making a chocolate just with eggs seemed to work. Less calories. I used egg whites, so less calories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm doing supper. Two things. That's what I did. I stood here and ate that whole thing. Now I'm going to eat my salad. <clears throat> the other thing, I made the, um, that grass killer. And I didn't have a spray bottle. Don't worry. It's now on my shopping list um, for when I go back to Walmart. I didn't have one, so I just ended up dumping. Just got to pour it along the fence line. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's. It's, it's in a weird place, and the neighbors don't mow that place very much. So, um, so I made up that stuff. And it was it was a cup of salt. So I bought this cheapy salt, because you know I ain't raised, wasting my good salt. <clears throat> so, cup of salt, tablespoon of, of Dawn, and a gallon of vinegar. We'll see how it goes. So, I, um, all right, 
So I finished my burger. I washed my hands. And now I can eat my salad. Bye for real now. Also, I'm gonna have an apple. Okay, bye. Do y'all remember when I bought a whole bunch of raw veggies and I said, ooh, I need to use these up or they go bad. Hang on, I got some in my teeth. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow is their best buy date. Tomorrow's Monday. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these up now so that way I have them for the week. Now, like I said, the best buy is the second and I'm off, wait a minute, what's today? Oh, the best buy is today. The best you, if used buy is today. Um, anyway, I'm off Tuesday, which is two days away, but I ain't gonna wanna cook then either. So we're gonna do some cooking. We've got some broccoli and cauliflower and asparagus that we're gonna cook up. And of course, I've got an audience. We wanna see what they think of broccoli and asparagus, or broccoli and cauliflower. Let's see what they think of it. Yeah, let's test Biggin. Sam, I'll use this long one. Ah, you sit. Here you go, girl. She, funny, she doesn't like the healthy stuff, but let's see. Here you go, sis. Don't, please, sister. She says, no, thank you. All right, now, about broccoli. What do you think, sis? She says, smells like what my brother's pee on. Sam, you want to try broccoli? Baxter, come around here, buddy. Nope, come around. Scoot around here. Sit. Easy. Easy. All right. They all liked it but her. She says, no, thank you. Uh, anyway, so we're going to cook this up. I might have should have got a bigger pot. But um, we're going to saute up the broccoli and cauliflower first. And then we'll add in the asparagus. So whenever I cut up asparagus, I'm curious what y'all do. When I cut up asparagus, um, I just cut the whole thing. I see in videos where you're supposed to like break something in half and whatever it doesn't, wherever it doesn't break. Easy. Wherever it breaks, you're supposed to use above that. I, I don't follow that rule. I just break it, and, or I just cut it all up anyway. So, I don't know. She, I, like, I use the whole stem that came with them. So, what do you guys use? I'm curious if other people use the whole thing. or Because that's like a whole waste of it. I mean, that's the bottom part, but... Oh, and you are not even looking over here, are you? Sorry. There's the asparagus. Like... If I were to break it, I'd lose like more than that, more than this. Cause they they split like way down there. Well, I ain't, I ain't got time to be wasting stuff. It may be like stringy, but it sautés up fine. So anyway, what do y'all do with your asparagus? Do you, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of bacon pieces in here for the moment. Do you all put some or do you all use the whole asparagus spear? Or do you break it and use everything above that break line? I'm just curious. All right, I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to put some seasoning on it. Let's get a little Italian seasoning going. Let's get a little um, Chef's Blend smoked salt. Just to give it a little smoky flavor. We're going to use some um, seasoned salt, just plain seasoned salt. Probably like, yeah, just the seasoning salt. Going to use some onion salt. I can find the holes. Some garlic salt. And we're going to use some Greek seasoning because, you know, all together now, Greek seasoning is live. Hello. So, now I'm going to put a lid on this and let this uh, all kind of smush down and wilt and whatever it does. 
and let that get down a little bit. Then I'll add the asparagus. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to add in the rest of this the asparagus here. And now we're just going to let it all soften up together. I have my handy dandy least family Kool-Aid spoon. I stole this spoon when I moved out of my mama's house the first time. This is a spoon I got a whole lot of whoopings with. And now I use it because I stole it thinking I was going to whoop my kids with it. But since God said I got four-legged children, I don't whip them with it. I don't, I don't whip them at all. They're too cute. So anyway... Yeah, but I, I use it for cooking, which is what it was intended for, Judy. Not just for Kool-Aid or whoopings. It's good for cooking. Okay, bye. It's been a few minutes and it's still pretty hard, but I'm going to add a little water to it. I'm going to add call this my Katie water. I'm going to add a little Katie water to it. And now, I'll let it go for a while longer. A long while longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm satisfied with the texture of these. They're soft and, and mushy, so they'll be perfect for me to eat. I figure I'll eat these for some suppers this week. It's kind of, I don't know, I like taking salads for lunch because they're so big and bulky. That, um, you know, I just, I like them. They fill me up real good, so I like to take them to work. And also for tonight, okay, so that made, made four servings, but I'm going to use this for tonight. So what I'm going to do is I also, I have eight ounces of that, of that ribeye that I made yesterday. I'm just going to plop it right on in there. And, um. Let that heat up together and um, use the residual heat from cooking and let that warm up my steak. You know, they had to do things like that before they had microwaves. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to put the lid on these three and put them in the fridge and then we'll get back to this in a minute or five. Five minutes on you cancel. Okay. I'm going to pour it into this bowl. Hang on just a second. Okay, now let's taste it. Let's try a piece of, that's asparagus. Mm -hmm. While I was waiting on this to cool down a little bit, I went ahead and washed a skillet. That's the thing about using a skillet to heat up your food versus a microwave. Stuff stays hotter longer. So, broccoli. Mm -hmm. And steak is going to be good because I had it this morning. Or for lunch. When did I have it? No, I had it yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's my supper. This ribeye, that's too hot to hold. That ribeye was 12 ounces when I weighed it out earlier. So I pulled out four ounces and made it into eight ounces. So those four ounces I can use for, um, I can use as a breakfast, maybe like Tuesday, you know, when I'm here at home. Um, I mean, I could take it to work too, but um, anyway, so I'll probably use that Tuesday. Um, when I'm here, then that way I can have that and I don't have to cook breakfast. I'll just heat that, heat up the, the steak bites and that'll be my breakfast. So, okay, that's the end of the day. No, it's not. I'm doing something else. Hang on. I have some frozen mixed fruit. So I'm going to have me some. There we go. So that, I'm going to have that along with what you, with my, um, with my steak and veggies, so some mixed frozen fruit. Okay, now, bye.